Yo, what's up guys, the Goblin, and today what I have for you guys is a DNA bomb on the map Biolab, playing some 6v6 domination using the ARX Steel Bite, which is a very good assault rifle, uh, the ARX, and the Steel Bite is probably the best variant ever, so I'm going to explain that in this commentary, but first off, I want to ask you guys to leave a like on this video, if we get 2,000 likes, that would mean a lot to me, so drop a like right now if you're watching, and let's get right into this commentary. So, the ARX is basically a three-round burst assault rifle, and um, it compares to the IMR, I guess you could say, but in my opinion the ARX is a lot better than the IMR and I'm going to explain why it is. First of all, the ARX uh, is a three round burst, the IMR is a four round burst which basically means you're just going to be using more ammo. Being a four round burst really doesn't make the gun a lot better and the ARX is one that it just beats the IMR in pretty much all situations in my opinion. Now the Steel Bite is the variant that I'm talking about in this gameplay. So the Steel Bite is a very powerful variant of the ARX. It has plus three damage on it which is absolutely insane to have on this. You can kill kids in one burst or two bursts every single time. You're really never going to need three bursts even at the longest ranges. It's most of the time going to be a two burst and then if you're right beside the guy and you shoot him like a above the shoulders you can get a one burst which is absolutely insane the fire rate on this thing is actually really good as you can see when you uh, put the attachments that I have on it you also do have quite a few in the clip you have 67 in the clip and someone can do the math on that but that is a lot of bursts and that's definitely more than you're gonna need so the attachments that I like to run are the red dot the extended mags and then the stock you really don't need the grip on this gun that's how good it is and this gun is probably the best assault rifle for bigger maps you know there, there's three sort of categories of guns that i would say you would want to use if you're going try hard and going for dna's the first would be like an smg so like a speakeasy or an mp11 that would be on the smallest maps the second one would be a like a bal or an ak-12 an hbr and the third one is probably like an imr and mk-14 and arx you know the super long range ones now biolab is not a map that you really you really don't want to use this gun on it however i just got on i really wanted to get a gameplay with this gun and i saw biolab and i said you know what i'm gonna try and make it work and it did work out i did get the dna in the first round of this gameplay here it's a pretty nice dna i think it's three and a half minutes but um you know this map is probably more of an smg as you can see i'm getting into a lot of situations that are really tight and really in the close ranges of this map which really don't work out too well for me i kind of get lucky and have to maneuver and this guy at b i really had trouble killing him but this gun does work well at the long ranges like when i'm looking down this hallway and see them back at the very back there it's it's really easy kills this gun has little to no recoil you can probably shoot, shoot off like three to four bursts before you feel any recoil at all and uh, it really does make an easy time with this gun you want to aim for the chest and definitely have a lot of fun so this is the steel bite my question for you guys is um you know there, there actually is another version there's the hole puncher the arx hole puncher and the arx steel bite both very good versions i want to know if you guys have those in the comment section below and i want to know if you guys agree with me that the steel bite is better than the imr like we'll say the best imr is the imr thunder tusk and I have that variant, and it is pretty good. However, the IMR Thunder Tusk only increases, I think it's 3 on the accuracy or something, and nothing on the damage. So you know what? You really don't need to be, I mean, you need to be accurate with these guns, but it really is a simple point and shoot. There's not a lot of recoil on a, a burst gun, you know. On a full automatic gun, recoil can be something such as the uh, ASM-1 Strider. That gun gives you one damage, but the recoil is out of this world. This guy, you really, I mean, you can see, I'm just picking off people to get the DNA. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, drop a like on it. I'd appreciate if we could go for 2,000 likes. Subscribe if you are new to my channel. And as always, subscribe for a cookie. And don't look. I'm out. Peace. Have a good night, guys.